Hey guys, welcome to another video. It's Kizzy here, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to get Rapture for free and how good it is in game. Let's get into it. So, guys, as you can see, Rapture's ability allows you to unleash a ferocious upward slash, which gives significantly more curve, influence, and power to the ball. You can only get it with the wheel if you didn't know that already. So, I'm going to start off with having a look at some of the stats that this ability does have, and I've equipped it ready to go. So reset time is going to be a very important factor and it is with any move that you use in game. And as you can see, we've got enough time for you to leave a like and subscribe. But once that's over and done with, you can come back to the video and see that it took 45 seconds to reset. I mean, that's a very, very long time. It's up there with the move pull. Um, so yeah, it's very slow. So now as you can see here, what our next sort of topic is going to be about, is going to be about kills. You can get a few good kills with this. But my experience means that the kills you do get are very early game and you don't really have any control where the ball goes. Huh? As you can see, yeah. it doesn't always work out. Sometimes it may be good, sometimes it may be shit. Rest in peace. Anyway, moving on from that. There's going to be a few examples here of me getting kills and also where it doesn't work. So I'm going to see you guys can make your own mind up. And like that, I mean, I had no idea there was anyone there and I got a kill. Huh? And as you can see here, things like that, there was only three players and I managed to get him. And there we go again. When it has a long distance to travel, it gives them much more of a chance to react. So to be honest, this move doesn't feel that great all the time. Sometimes it gets you a lot of kills, which is nice early on, as you can see there. But later on, and when there's long distances, you have no control where the ball goes. So yeah, I don't know about how I feel about that, considering it's on the wheel, it's supposed to be very overpowered. I was asking a few people online as well, if they really rate this move or not. And a lot of them said they don't rate it at all. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Wow. Now I did say you can get this for free, basically what you have to do is create loads and loads of alt accounts and just yeah, use the free codes that I've done in my other video. So then you can just get free spins and then eventually you're going to get one of the spins to work on one of the accounts. And now I'm going into a game versus bots and as you can see, no. even bots can deflect it so it's not a good sign and these aren't even on hard difficulty. So moving on to the next thing which is the visuals. As you can see it does make a pretty cool graphic where it strikes a big crater through the floor and there's a big explosion and it does curve off really cool and it looks nice i do like it it's probably one of my favorites aesthetically and the ability itself looks really good but apart from that i would say this is a very mid move let me know what you guys think in the comments below and which ones are better peace